Hi, this is Unapologetically Curious, and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are not, welcome back. So, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but I had made a video recently on Josh Duggar, and it was basically talking about the institutional racism that exists in our justice system and comparing it to the way Josh Duggar was treated, in particularly the way that he was arrested. So that's just that, but let's get into the topic of this video. So if you are unaware, it has recently been released. It has been released that Josh Duggar is trying to get his case moved out to 2022. He is trying to get the case moved out to about February 2022. Basically, they had received the discovery and they noticed that the government had used an unidentified database to probe Josh Duggar's devices and they needed more time to look into that. And they also wanted to look more into the devices that they had of his that did not have any tracings of CSAM. So it seems like they're trying to buy Josh Duggar some time. In my opinion, they are probably trying to work really hard to make a really good case against the allegations so that they can get Josh Duggar a shorter amount of time. But I also kind of want to believe that Josh Duggar is hoping to get a court date in 2022 because it buys him more time with his pregnant wife. Um, I don't know how far along she is, but she'll probably have her baby by then. Maybe he could spend some more time with the baby, which to me is disgusting considering the allegations that he's faced up against. But I just think that they are trying to buy him more time and they're trying to build up a really good case because the lawyers that they have hired for the case are really well-known lawyers that are good at fighting these sex crime cases. I also have to think about the people that are currently watching over him right now. I can't imagine how uncomfortable it must be for the wife that is watching Josh Duggar, making sure that he's not getting on the internet or doing anything that's going against the guidelines that they had for him on house arrest. I imagine that she just wants this trial done and over with so that she can finally breathe some air because not only that, she has called the police before. She called 911 because people were staking outside her house because this is such a public case that there's probably reporters, maybe even people who were, maybe even people who hate Josh Duggar for the crimes that he's being charged with. Um, I imagine that she just wants peace back in her life, so it's crazy to me that they're trying to prolong the amount of time before he goes to trial for his charges. So, I don't know, what do you guys think about the whole fact that he's trying to get his case pushed out farther? Do you think that it's just that they're trying to build a really strong case against the allegations that Josh Duggar is facing? Or do you think that Josh Duggar is trying to buy some time so that he can spend a little more time with his wife who is pregnant before he goes and does, you know, some time? Because the way this is looking, he's probably going to be in jail for some years. So it's plausible that he is trying to buy time with his wife. I'm not sure if lawyers are allowed to do that, but considering how crooked some lawyers could be, I could see this being as a, I'm trying to build, I'm going to try to buy you some more time with your pregnant wife, which, which is obviously very repulsive, but I 
have been honing in on this case because I do have a little connection to Anna Duggar and the church that she used to go to. Um, that's probably why I've been paying so much close attention to this case. I used to be affiliated a little bit with the religion that they obviously both believe in. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to hear a little bit about that story because I would be willing to tell that story. That's probably why I've been honing in on this case so much just because I do know Anna Duggar's family and yeah, obviously the Duggars have a very white fan base and so it's probably unusual for someone like me to even be talking about this case but I just do have those connections. So if you want to hear down below how I have a little bit of a connection with Anna Duggar, let me know and I, and I will make a video on that. Let me know your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you would like to be a part of my sister tribe, you can subscribe down below. And yeah, I would love to have you guys. Peace out.